All right, guys, I got a 2007 uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. Front control arm is bad. See that? The whole tire moves. All right. So the control arm is part of the ball joint. The plate is in the ball joint right there. You see that? So this whole thing needs to come out. We're gonna remove the bolt right there, which is number 19 and number 19 right here. All right, it has a nut on the top. You're gonna hold that. We're gonna remove that cotter pin and the bolt there, and that should come out, right? So I'm gonna show you guys step by step. If you need to do it, follow my procedure. You should be good, easy, nice, all right? All right, guys, uh, so to remove this control arm, again, we need to take off the bolt right here. You have to hold the lug nut, the, not the lug nut, the nut on the top which is number 19, I believe. Same thing back there, right there. And also, I was changing the bearing on this. I do have a video on this car, but on the opposite side, so I did not record that. But in order for me to get the bearing out, I needed to take off the nut of this ball joint right here. So I took off the cotter pin, and the number 17 bolt was right here. The nut, I'm sorry. So that's the nut right there. All right, so I'm gonna continue this by, I'm gonna put my light here. And we're gonna push out that pin first, the ball joint bolt right there out first, all right? Since we already got the little guy out. All right, so to take this out, all you need is a small little hammer. You can tap it softly, all right? You do not want to damage the thread zoning, and it will come right out. If you need to use something, you can put it like a screwdriver and hit the back of the screwdriver and just tap it out of there, all right? So that's how simple that is. Also has a little notch in the back where you can put a pry bar right there and open up the groove on the ball joint, all right? But anyways, we're gonna move forward to remove the bolts which are down here. So first I'm gonna try to get to that bolt right there. Let me see if I can get a better angle on the light. That's much better right there. All right, so that's the bolt I'm gonna try to get. That's number 19. So I'm gonna be using a good impact gun with the uh, extension, all right? So right from right here, I'm gonna reach in, see if I can get this bad boy to come out from right there. I am gonna have to put a wrench on the back end because it's gonna spin, all right? So the wrench goes on the back end. Bolt should come right out, all right? Let's see if it comes out. There you go, the bolt is out, all right? Perfect, guys. Let's move on to this side. Same thing, pretty much three bolts are holding this control arm, all right? The same thing, impact gun with the nut on the top. I want to give you a heads up sometimes this bolt won't even turn because it's seized in then I would recommend you splice it cut it out of there all right cut this control arm little by little air hammer brrr, get it out of there but there it is guys where's my bolt right there all right so the next step is simply trying to get this little guy out of there all right so next I'm gonna try to open up that groove right there back there slowly Right. If you need to, you can grab this spindle and turn everything, all right? Turn the whole steering. That thing will face towards you now, all right? You probably don't even have to open it. You can try to hit it. There you go. Every hit, the camera moves. There you go. It's out and my light falls down. All right, guys. So let me show you guys. Look at that control arm. It's just hanging there. There it is. All right, very simple. You take this. If you have a small little pry bar, you can yank it out from right there, All right? And that's it. We got the control arm out. I'll show you the part number in a little bit. But anyways, 
What I like to do is I like to get one side in first, which is this side right here because it's all in a crazy angle. And then push the other side in. And then you tap it slowly with the hammer, right? Softly, right? You don't want to damage anything. Just tap it. And this is not gonna work out for me, so I'm gonna take it back out. Let's pull it back out. So even better yet, I got my camera block and I'd rather do it from right here. But let's see. Move the camera out of here. Let me try it this way. Let's get this in, just this one spot, all right? The arm is sticking all the way to my left. All right, let's put the nut on. Yeah, this would be the best way, guys. I got the control arm just hanging out here. Just hanging there, all right? There it is. But I think that's a good little move. I mean, what we'll do is, ah, now I lost the position of the light. Okay, now I'm gonna put the light here. gonna reach to its destination right in there and then I just gotta play around with that end all right All right, let's try another angle, guys. Let me take off this bolt. I'm gonna keep this bolt halfway. I'm on this side. I'm putting this bolt halfway, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do there. Alright, I took out this bolt completely, even though I got it to sit there. But that will give me, because that arm needs to go a little bit that way, guys. Just a little bit. I just need that end to go that way a little bit. So I'll just yank it a little bit from this end to make it go that way, alright? Because this thing just comes and hits right here by a quarter an inch. Less than a quarter inch. Now I think I got it too much, so it needs to go back a little bit. I can tap it with the hammer. It's not gonna hurt it, all right guys? But right here, you're gonna lose a little angle, but you can play around with it a little bit. So let me try to get number 19, and let me see if I can get that little guy to come back a little bit. All right, so. What I need to do here is, I need to put a socket down below here, which is number 19, and I could yank it and tap it at the same time. Almost in. Just bothering the middle of it. Now 
needs to go in a little bit, all right? So, what I'll do is, Yeah, it's enough with the banging, all right? So my socket, the other socket was terrible. I got another socket that fits perfectly on it. So all you do is you yank on it, and that's it. There you go, the bolt is in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the nut on the top. Let me hit a little bit more. There you go. All right, that's in place. Now I need to work on the other one. So. Right in there, right there. But it's just the angle of everything is all over. All right, so with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put something down below to lift it. You see that pry bar? That's all I'm doing. I'm just yanking it up with the pry bar right there, right? And it aligns perfectly. There you go. Same. put something back here and tap it in all the way. I'm sure you don't need me to show you guys how to tighten this. So just tighten these two bolts, you're good to go. Put gun and a wrench on the other end to hold it. So I'm putting the nut right now. And this is all done guys. Only thing I have left is right down here. Ball joint into the spindle. Alright, just be careful with your arms and your fingers. This thing is solid. Alright, so I used to have a lot of mechanics help me, but I don't have any help anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to turn this ball joint is too sticking too far out. Let's see if I can tap it with the hammer. Alright, I'm gonna just tap it softly. I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna tap. It just came out. All right, sitting right on the neck. Sitting right on the neck is in this angle. I need to get it straight, all right? So let's see what I can do here. It's just too hard for me to hold it down and hit it at the same time. Let me fix this up and then we'll get the tail. All right? A little bit more. So I'll just put it right there. Sitting perfectly, all right, guys. So, with the rubber mallet, I 
Should do it. Rubber mallet such as this. Once you have it right in the perfect spot, don't forget to put the bolt in, which goes from that end. And you should be able to slowly tap that guy back this way. And then, don't forget to put your nut here. Don't forget to tighten this. And don't forget to put a cotter pin. Bada bing, bada boom guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share it, and like all of my videos. This was a tough one, not tough, but this was the trouble one. And uh, I have a damaged finger a little bit here. That's why it caused me a lot of trouble. All right guys, I got this car here, and I'm gonna show you guys something. The turn signal, the little indicator arrow here flickers really fast. See that? What does that mean? All right. If you see something like that, let's put the opposite side. You see that? That one is pretty good. This one is just super fast. All right, just come outside the car and look at your turn signals. You see that? It's working, but it's working fast. What does that mean? Over here, you have a little issue with the bulb. All right, so try to change both of your bulbs and that should take care of that, all right? Sometimes it's just one, but sometimes it's both. Earlier, this bulb was not working, all right? This one is working and it's nice and good. This time you see a little bit of flickering, but earlier I noticed this bulb was not working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this bulb and that should take care of that, all right?